Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Holy crap. That is sick. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a sweltering mid-October afternoon. And uh, you know what that means. It's time to chase some turtles, but not these turtles. We're gonna go look for big, uh, more fun turtles. Not that these turtles aren't cool, but I'm never gonna catch them in this little pond. We're gonna go down to the creek and see if there's any down there that are a little more accessible. Greg's gonna meet me and uh, He's actually gonna probably bring a snorkel and mask that we can use to get into some deeper areas. These are just red eared sliders or yellow boy sliders, probably intergrades of the two. Um, so nothing too exciting yet, but currently waiting on Greg. There's another one right there. Look at that guy. And uh, once Greg gets here, so there, that's a red ear right there. You can see he's got that bright red mark behind his eye. And that's a yellow belly. Kind of cool to see him side by side even though that one's technically not supposed to be here, and that one is. Look at these guys. There's a red ear and a yellow belly side by side, kind of cool. And that one guy is not swimming very well. Looks like he's got something wrong with him. Well, the water is unfortunate, to say the least. <laughs> it's basically Yoo-Hoo. But there is a turtle right there basking. Looks like a little loggerhead. Greg's gonna try to get to him. He's got a wetsuit on, so he's a little more equipped to deal with the water than I am. Dude, that's guaranteed. Oh no! <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got the prime basking location. It's an eastern river cooter. We've seen a lot of these guys today, but they're, they've been on like the other side of the creek and up in trees like this. All right, guys, so I just nabbed a water snake. He was sitting right there. I've got him right here. You'll see the video on Greg's channel if you're subscribed to him, but, oh, it broke, dude. He has a fish hook stuck in his back. You can see it sticking out right there, but actually, look at that. It, it broke so off, yeah, I guess it's so, so rusted. rusted in there. So I'm gonna try to get the rest of that out for him, but that's crazy. Alrighty, well, we removed that hook successfully. It wasn't too difficult. It seems like it was mostly degraded in there and we were just able to pull it right out. But anyways, this guy's gonna be in much better shape for the coming winter without having a fish hook stick out of his back. So we're gonna put him back in his brush pile and keep herping. All right, guys, it is time to release this guy. We have successfully removed that little inconvenience from his back, and uh, he seems no worse for wear. So I'm just gonna let him go, and I'm assuming he's gonna plop in the water. Gone forever. He's right, got guys. a grasshopper. Next find, fence lizard right there with food. He sure does, that's a big meal for him. Color is cool too. Yeah, I've never seen one like that burnt orange look. Good looking lizard. You can see the blue on his belly if you look get over here. Like along the creek there. That was a good looking fence lizard. Alright guys, next snake of the day I was uh looking at a bush and this guy jumped out. I grabbed him, my Powerade went flying downstream so I had to sprint downstream to get my drink. But good looking Midland water snake, two species of water snake so far today. But anyways, this guy's got a lot of fish in him. I don't want him to regurge him so we're gonna let him go and keep herping. All right guys, this is turning out to be more of a snake day than a turtle day. There's another water snake right there. All right, we grabbed this girl and she is absolutely humongous. Look at that. Super thick, super healthy, a little bit on the snippy side, but beautiful. Look at how thick that head is. That is just not natural looking. She's really doing her best to uh, trick people into thinking she's venomous. Which, of course, she's not. 
beautiful belly though. Look at that. Anyways, more snakes today than turtles so far, at least in hand. We've seen a lot of turtles, but haven't caught a single one yet, unfortunately. But hopefully we're gonna let this girl go and hopefully that'll turn around here soon. Maybe we'll see something else. Hello. Well, it's about time we put this beast of a water snake back in our tree, but this is awesome. It's always nice to see exceptional individuals of even the most common species always be exciting to me. So we're gonna let this girl go and keep herping. A little five line skink soaking up the last rays of warmth for the day. That is a sharp looking slimy. There were two under this log that Richard just rolled. We only got this one. Really nice big defined spots on this guy. Look at that. <laughs> there is slimy number three under the next log over. Don't get slimy. Another big one. There's a there's a, actually a slider basking underneath these underwear. If you can see him, the underwear is there and the slider is there. Greg's gonna go for him. Just don't eat the underwear when you when you slide in there. Try not to. They look good though. <laughs> Oh no, he moved. Oh, this is going, oh no. Go for it, go, you tell no. <laughs> All right guys, next snake of the day, just flipped this little worm snake to continue with the not finding turtles trend and actually finding snakes, which, you know, I will never complain about, but it is kind of ridiculous how many turtles we've seen and not caught any of them. But little worm snake under this random piece of tarp in the woods. And right down the tarp from the worm snake, a nice little red-bellied snake. I've never found another snake? Uh, another another red-bellied? Red bigger one. There you go. Oh, it's a nice black one, too. We got both phases here. Dang. Dude, this tarp is where it's at, apparently. Look, look how far it goes. It's like flat right here. Beautiful. I love these black ones, too. That's awesome. Well, this was definitely a productive flip. A worm snake and two red bellies. A nice black phase and a nice normal one underneath this long black mat. Love the black ones. That's awesome. Anyways. Alrighty, well, pr we're pretty much at the end of the trail here, so we're going to start back to the car. Maybe we'll see more stuff. Maybe we won't, but maybe we'll finally catch a turtle. Here's another nice slimy salamander. Plenty of these guys today, too. What's this I see? More black mat. Oh, slimy. <laughs> Alright guys, well that was not a half bad walk around this afternoon with Greg and Richard. We uh, managed to turn up a decent number of snakes and actually saw some turtles too, but <laughs> all the t turtle attempts were just epic failures because the water was so murky, so I mean... If it got into the water, it was gone. So, uh, unfortunately, we weren't expecting the water to be quite that murky. So, that kind of is what screwed us over the most. But, anyways, I'm probably going to go cruise around for a little bit now uh, as it gets dark. And uh, seeing as this might be the last, possibly the last opportunity to night cruise for the year. Uh, but we're going to see. Anyways, I'm going to probably just drive around for a little bit. And if it doesn't seem like stuff's moving, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. But hopefully, stuff will be out. So, we'll see. There is our first snake of the night, big copperhead right here on the shoulder of the road. He's gonna need a hook. Oh, oh. Hey there, beautiful. First snake so far, really good looking copperhead. I was really expecting to see more. It's been a while and this is my first snake, but uh, yeah, not bad. Oh, hello. Anyways, I'm just gonna escort this guy slash girl off the road and keep moving. A little man. That is not a pygmy like I thought it was at first, unfortunately, but it is a baby copperhead. Always cute and always fun to see. Uh, looks like it's plenty of vipers out tonight, so I'm just gonna move this guy off the road and hope that a pygmy comes out. 
pretty cool. All right, guys, well, that looks like it's gonna be it for the night, just the two copperheads. Although if this goes anything like the last couple videos, I'll find something while I'm running the outro. Anyways, I am on my way home for the night. Uh, two copperheads, not too bad considering how fast it cooled off tonight. So probably gonna be the last road cruising video for a while. Uh, if temps are appropriate, again, I will certainly try. So we'll see. Anyways, I will see you guys next time I get out in the field. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Holy crap. That is sick. I was on my way home and I found this little baby copperhead with a really weird looking pattern. That's awesome. So it'll be good for you guys to be able to see what a typical copperhead looks like from, from this age class right before this guy. Because I cruised that normal one about maybe 30 minutes ago. And then on my way home I find this guy. Super cool looking, apparently patterned uh, neonate copperhead. What an awesome way to end the night. Can't complain about that. That is too cool. I'm actually going to photograph this guy because he's so unique looking and uh, probably call it a night after that. Look at that weird little stripe. Gorgeous. What an awesome little copperhead. Great way to end the night. Neon yellow tail too. Uh, if you weren't familiar with this, a lot of baby pit vipers, specifically a Kistradon, uh, copperheads, cottonmouths, etc., have this bright yellow tail that they actually use to lure in prey. They'll sit there and wiggle it. And a lot of them outgrow it. Some species keep it into adulthood, but either way, interesting little anecdote. Good morning, everyone. Last time you saw me, we had a pretty productive day of hiking creeks and road cruising. Didn't see anything crazy, but saw good numbers and a couple of cool snakes that are always welcome finds. I'm out here a couple of days later chasing ghosts once again. I'm in an area that uh, I've never been to before looking for uh, southern hognose snakes in the Georgia Piedmont. Um, these are a species that is pretty common, as you guys have seen in certain areas. Um, but here in the Georgia Piedmont, there's only been one ever found. I don't know how valid that record is or what, but I'm out here trying either way in the same general area. I don't know exactly where that snake came from, but I'm in the general area. And I'm pretty much gonna hit this area hard today. Looking for southern hognose snakes, I'd really love to see any sort of king snake from this county. Uh, it could possibly have pygmies too, that'd be awesome. So, but anyways, I'm just gonna hit this area really hard today. It's a new area, everything's new for me here. So I'm excited to just hit it and see what I can turn up, so. Well, it's not what I was looking for. And frankly, I can't believe I even saw it in the road but there is a little red-bellied snake doing a flattening. <laughs> Look at that. Look how tiny this guy is. Coming from that way, I just barely saw something that looked like a snake, and sure enough, this little guy. First snake of the day. Alrighty, well, I took a few photos of this guy sitting in the road. He's not the best-looking red-bellied snake, but, uh, I mean, I'll take it. First snake of the day. Always cool to see these guys out crawling around during the daytime. It's kind of weird. But anyways, I'm going to move across the road and keep moving. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day. I was worried it was a racer and it was going to bolt off the road, but it is actually a rat snake. He's bolting anyways. What on earth? Don't act like a racer. <laughs> He's so dark. He actually looks a lot like a racer. And that's exactly what I thought he was in the road. That's crazy. One of the dark, you can see his track right there. One of the darkest rat snakes I've ever seen in Georgia. This guy is so dark. Awesome. Second snake of the day. I will take it. Good looking black rat snake over here. In uh, central Georgia, we don't have gray rats anymore. They turn into eastern or black rats. So anyways, pretty cool. He looks a little bit different in the shade, so I figured I'd show him to you one more time before I let him go. But nice sub-adult, small adult black rat snake. And here's our next snake of the day, a pretty little juvenile racer. Just chilling too. Normally these guys fly off the road before you can catch them. Look at you. Ooh. Ooh, chill out, chill out, chill out. Just want to take a look at you and then I'll move you off the road. That's a beautiful little snake. Look at that. I think I mentioned earlier in one of my uh, videos where we found some brown chin racer babies that the ones up here are normally a little more colorful. And this guy's a good example of that. Anyways, decent numbers of snakes so far today. Can't really complain about not finding my target. But, uh, I mean, we still got plenty of time left in the day. I'm probably going to go hike around for, for a little bit because I'm tired of driving. Anyways, going to let this guy go and keep moving. That is a pretty perfect looking rock, so I'm going to record myself flipping it. 
nothing, but it does look really good. I see a really nice, oh wow, there's another one right here. I didn't see this guy at first. Look at that. Wow, holy crap. Chill out, bro. There's another one right there. I wanna see if I can get that one too. Chill, 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 chill. Right, I got the other one. Holy crap, these are beautiful. Come on, come on. There we go. Wow. I don't know how well that capture came out because it's kind of hard to hold one bitey snake and catch another one, but look at these animals. Holy crap, these are beautiful. Two of the nicest looking water snakes I've ever seen right here foraging next to each other. I don't see any more, but that doesn't mean there aren't some. That was wild. I mean, they are just Nerodia, so they're really common, but love interactions like this where you see something that's just like blows your mind and then suddenly another one materializes in front of you. Wild. Oh, chill out, chill out, chill out. He pooped. So I let the smaller one crawl under my backpack while I film and photograph this one. He's under there, but really, I mean, for Nerodia, these are two of the best ones I've seen all year. Beautiful. Just, they didn't even look real sitting there underwater. Hopefully you can see that in the video clip. But anyways, I'm going to photograph these snakes and let them go. All right, I got a few shots of this bigger snake. I'm going to let it go right here where it was foraging when I first spotted it. Look at how unreal that looks underwater. It's probably just going to hide in that jumble of stuff. All right, I'm going to shoot the other one real quick. Alrighty, and here's one more look at the second one, which is actually the first one I spotted, and I was walking over to him, I saw that other one that I just let go, and uh, I'm guessing he's still in that jumble, but anyways, two quick Nerodia here so far. Alright, now let's let this guy go. I initially saw him foraging. He's so vibrant looking, you can still see him, he was like right around there when I first saw him. That's crazy, went straight back to where I caught him from too. All right, guys, so the Nerodia were right over there, and I walked a little bit further down the creek and spotted this guy foraging right along the edge. A nice-looking eastern garter snake. He actually puffed up for a second. It had some really good green coloration between his scales. But anyways, we've been finding a ton of these guys crossing the road recently, but it's nice to see one in habitat. Pretty cool. Anyways, just going to let this guy go real quick. Good-looking little eastern garter snake. All right, buddy. Screaming kids in the background. That's just what he was doing right there when I first saw him scooting along the bank. Look at this man. Oh, little Fowler's toad in this hole. Actually, it could be an American toad. Hard to tell at that size. Either way. All right, guys, I'm back on the road. I made a little bit of a switch to the area where I'm going to be road cruising tonight. Uh, it's cooling off pretty fast, already 70 degrees, but I'm hoping that we'll get a nice little window here at dusk. So hopefully we can end the day with a couple more snakes. We'll see. This is my first snake of the night. Holy crap. I cannot believe that. Baby pygmy rattlesnake here in late October after dark. That is insane. I cannot believe that just happened. This is the first snake I've seen tonight. I was expecting maybe a copperhead or something tonight, but not that. That is so awesome. I was having a pretty rough year for these guys up until recently when they've started popping up when I wasn't expecting them. So I am not gonna complain about that. If we don't see anything else tonight, that is a great way to end the video. Put him next to my boot so you can see just how small he's still. <laughs> My shoes are still soaked. I've been driving with wet feet from catching those water snakes. But anyways, awesome way to start the night. I'm gonna keep moving and see if anything else is out. All right guys, well, it looks like that might be the only snake of the night, but it's gotta be said, not a bad one. Um, I am really glad we managed to turn up at least one big target here at the end of this video. Um, it hasn't been bad. It's been a really good couple of days, but it's been a really, common stuff heavy which is fine but it was really nice to knock off a pygmy here at the end uh, but anyways i'm gonna probably wrap this video up here and i will see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching the season is probably gonna start winding down here relatively soon so 